For the first part of the task, the housemates must rate themselves from least to most annoying. Housemates, you have decided that the three most annoying housemates are Jeremy, Stephanie, and Scotty T. Hey, hello. Big Brother has called Scotty T, Stephanie and Jeremy to the diary room. All of the other housemates have been gathered at the sofas. Hello, housemates. Hey, uh... Hiya. Jeremy, Scotty T and Stephanie, congratulations. Oi. Today you have successfully liberated the Big Brother house. Oh. It's been unboxed. That's good. Not only that, you liberated Daniela, Darren and John from their box. Legend. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Just imagine how happy they'll be when they find out that because you completed the task, they won't have to nominate this week. Ooh. Right, OK. Yeah, you will. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, you are having a friggin' laugh. You three are going to each make a killer nomination. Each housemate you name will face the public oh. vote. Yeah, joke it. Jeremy. Give the name of the housemate you want to give a killer nomination to oh, and explain your reasons for this nomination. Yeah, um, my nomination is going to be Nancy. Um, I just find that she can be a bit controlling when we're having a laugh. For example, just out there, like, I don't know if it's... It might be just the way she'd look across the room at you if you're having a drink. It, maybe it's a bit just intimidating, I don't know. It could be just... You know, it mightn't be that reason at all, but that's what I have to go on, you know? He's scared of you, girl. Gotti T, oh, give God. the name of the you housemate you want to give a killer nomination to that's and so explain funny. your reasons for this nomination. I'm going to nominate Winston. Stephanie, give the name of the housemate you want to give a killer nomination to and explain your reasons for this nomination. I'm picking Christina. Oh! Because of your choices, the housemates facing Friday's eviction are Nancy, Winston and Christina. Thank you, housemates. I'm you may now return to the house. Oh, that's really hard, Jeremy is in the diary room talking about Stephanie. I don't want to look like a little home record, you know what I mean? Like, and I know she she doesn't want to do it, but it's just you know affection. Like, she's a gorgeous girl. She's sound. I do respect. Genuine, you have a laugh, and that you know what I mean. A bit of flirt, of course, I flirt with the girl. Like, it's unnatural not, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't, and I didn't like her, I didn't find attractive what I'm saying, I won't go near and but it's just constant. And I know if I'm in the house any longer it's gonna get gonna get worse. But I, I don't know, my head's just messed up with it like do you know what I mean? She has everything, do you know what I mean? She's so funny. And uh we just connect with her. You know, we're we're pretty similar. And I, I always look at this and I say, you cannot make a connection with someone that quick. I'm very standoffish with people. But in here, I don't know if it's the circumstances or if I you know, it feels like a genuine, a proper genuine connection with her. It's it's not in my nature to be a mess. I'm a flirt, I'm a single bloke. <clears throat> if it was in on the outside world, if a girl you were you had even the most for it, you'd be able to go away from it, you know what I mean? You'd be able to be like, No, I know that's wrong. And you'd be able to go somewhere else. But in here it's like you know it's wrong, you still like it, but you ha you're in the same house, man. I said attraction is not a choice, and that's that's the end of it. Do you feel like it's more than just friends? You know, it is more than friends. It's obvious. Late last night, housemates had to nominate for this week's eviction. My first nomination is going to be Nancy. She dictates to the house a little bit too much. This is Big Brother. Housemates. It's nominations time. Oh. And tonight, it will be face to face. Oh no! My first nomination is going to be Tiff. Um, I'm able to socialise with everyone, have a chat with them, but I have to go on the, the least person I connect with in the yeah, house, yeah, and that's yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah. feel that you're fiery, and I feel like yeah. you're unravelling your true colours. I think you're like toilet paper. You're see-through and you're full of shit. Um, my second nomination, Gemma, I'm sorry. Um, it's it's going to be you just... Calm down, Calm down, to be sick. Calm, down, like. <laughs> Calm down. The only thing that I can go on a reason is the other night with Steph. I think I was obviously involved. It should have been dealt with in a better. I think she should have been pulled Fair aside. Enough. I think Fair just enough. it brought everything in. Again, enough, darling. they're my reasons. Uh, my nominations are Tiff and Gemma. Jeremy has been babysitting for one hour and 29 minutes. 
Jeremy, it's now time to say goodbye to the twins. Your babysitting shift is now over and you are free to leave the diary room. <laughs> Thank you, big brother. See you later, guys. Mm. Take care of them for me. Thanks, big brother. Ah. Ah. He's, he's known as a what, known model. Sam who? Sam Reese. Who who? Yeah, he is, he is well known model. What are you, oh hey, my that's God, not a nice boyfriend. Yeah. Oh my fucking God. He's amazing, isn't he? Oh no, yeah, he's met you, he said. Yeah, it's fucking gorgeous there. Yeah, now. Yeah. It's gorgeous, That's my boyfriend. Yeah, I can see why you want to marry him. Mm. Yeah. Can't you just... No, he's fucking gorgeous, innit? Wow. Don't, I'll start crying. All right. You'll be with him soon. Yeah. Yeah, marry him. I'm going to. It could be, um... Jeremy is talking to Big Brother. I, I hate drama. Like, I don't like it. I don't... I'm not... Some people in there might like it, shit stirring and causing shit, you know, just... I know it's a game at the end of the day and I always thought I'd be strong enough to be able to compete in it, but... I am so just over it. I'm bored of it. I'm sure you've heard her say, what are, you gonna, like, what are we going to do on the outside? What are you going to wait and all this shit? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Now, if she didn't have any intentions with me and she's a boyfriend, would she fucking say that? Because I wouldn't. I, I'm, it's too much, man. It's going around and... It's just, uh, my head is uh, melted. I don't want to speak to her. I just don't get it. We, we spoke earlier about being honest with each other and being real in the house. And, and she's the one that's not being honest and real, you know? Fair enough, yeah, wait until you get out. She said that a few times, that's grand. But don't in front of a room full of people where they know that I look out for her and I, I care for her and I, I have feelings for her. Out me like that and say sh something about her. You know, she's done it two or three times now, then she's went back in her word to me and said, oh, me and Sam have this and that, we didn't really see eye to eye, I don't trust them. Like, are they for real? Like, I don't get it. Just do not know why she cannot just say to me how she really feels and just... It just makes me look like a, a proper lunch, like. Jeremy has come to talk to Big Brother. What's the mood like in the house today? It's good. Um, everyone seems on a good buzz. I think the the whole Steph, Danielle and Gemma thing was ironed out last night, so everyone kind of put it behind them, which is good. Yeah, no, but now it's it's all it's all rosy until probably f ten minutes when there'll be a royal rumble in the garden. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the way the house works, but at the moment it seems cool. I could be in here in five minutes saying I want to leave the house crying. It's it is a mad house. <laughs> The way we all got on tonight was amazing, you know. If this is my last night, it's it's one I'll always remember. It's been deadly.